Hello guys, Ginebra here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an alert with this moving average crossover. Um, you can put the alert on the actual screen up here on the crossover here. You can put it down here as well. The way this is set up currently, I have this one moving a little bit faster than this one. So instead of doing a two and a seven like I have up here, I have a one and a seven. And so the one it crosses over a little faster and it can give me an alert so I can pop on my chart and ex look for the the two and seven crossover. So how you do it, you can you can go up here and click on the create alert button. You can do alt A to do it as well. You can right click on the screen and add an alert. You can right click on the um, indi any indicator that you have and add an alert. And you can right click um, well in, in the window down here in the indicator and add an alert. So I'm going to add alert. And I'm going to make sure that the condition, because there are several conditions, I have several indicators and stuff up here, make sure that it's a TDI. And I want to get an alert when the fast moving average is crossing the slow moving average. Now, you could say crossing up or down. It depends on what you're watching for. If you know you're waiting for it to cross down, then just say crossing down. Because you know you're looking for it to take a sale. If you're looking for it to, to, to for a buy, say crossing up. Okay. Um, or you can switch it, whatever works for you. But this is how you create the alert. You can choose only once, once per bar, once per bar close, or once per minute. And what I like is once per bar close. Okay, so this is like every time the bar closes and they have a real a crossover, let me know. Now, um, also, I want the notifications on the app. I don't care. It, I don't care when it expires. Like, if I know I'm trying to take this trade within the next hour, I mean, next day, next hour, or whatever, this is what this is for. Um, and but otherwise, if I leave it open, leave it open, it's going to keep alerting me. But this is something that I trade, so it's okay. Like it alert me to know, hey, you need to get on a chart because they're crossing, right? I can let the notification come on the app, have it show a pop up. Like if I'm on Trading View, it will pop up while I'm on Trading View looking at another pair, whatever. It'll pop up to let me know, even from another time frame. It'll send an email. I will get an email and I'll see that on my phone. I see my emails pop into my notifications. And then, of course, there's a message. And what I like to do is customize my message to say TDI um, moving averages crossing, right? And lets me know, and then I'll know, you know, to prepare for a buy or sell. I'll know that. Now, if I if I put crossing up up there, then I would say crossing up, and then I would say prepare to buy. If I put crossing down, I would say prepare to sell. Then I just click create. So once you click create, it goes over here into your alerts section. Okay, and this this is the one. Let me see. When I hover over it, it'll tell me um, when I created it. And see, yep, that's the one. Yep, this I created several for this video, but this is the one I believe that I just created. Because if I hit edit, yep, that's the one I just created. And so I like I have too many. I just created several because I couldn't get them to work earlier. Um in the previous video I was making. So I just redid it. But that's how you do it. That's how you create an alert. You can right click on it. You can click on right here, create alert. Again, you can right click down here as well. And whenever an alert comes through, it'll it'll be on your log. And so say an alert and you close it, you may finish up whatever you're doing, finish up or whatever, and you want to go to it, it'll be down here on your log and you can double click on it and it'll take you right to that that set that um setting or that section or whatever. So it'll take to that time frame and it'll let you see, you know, whatever you create your alert on. If you have any questions, let me know. Um you can definitely look at look me up on Facebook. Uh at I, that's my this is my Facebook page and Trinetta Burrell. I am getting ready to release some some hot stuff up there, some things that I think is going to help you with either your business, whether you're your financial business or any other business that you're in, trading business, and I also offer credit repair services. So all of that you'll be able to find soon on my Facebook page. Um, you can go to my IG page. I do have a couple of things up there um, as well. I'm not up there often, but I, it is up there. I am Trinetta Burrell and Definitely interested. If you're interested in joining my team, I am in the process of creating a new Discord group. But I do already have a Telegram group, and I have a um, Telegram channel, and I have a um, a Facebook message, Facebook page, group page. So when you join my team, you get access to all of this. Um, so I have a Facebook group page and a 
messenger chat, right? But a lot of some of the some of the special strategies and settings and and uh, indicators and stuff like that are in this location here. So you must be an active member of my trading team or um, have contact me separately and for me to um, coach you or you know consult you or whatever. And then you'll be you get access to some of this other stuff. So. Look forward to seeing you guys on the other side. I hope this helped. And I have a couple more um, YouTube. I have a couple more videos I'm going to make regarding this TDI. So look forward to that. I'm going to actually give you a couple of strategies that you can use with this. And I'm going to show you also how you can pretty much take your moving averages and put it down here as well and use it down here instead of having it on your screen if you want to clean the screen. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you on the side. Trade well. Happy trading.